all this is Anjali and in this video I'm going to explain you how to use array of objects in Java. Now before starting with the thing that how array of objects are used in Java I must tell you that the people who already know about what are objects how to make classes and what are arrays will only be able to understand what I'm telling in this. So if you don't know what arrays are or you don't know how to make objects in Java so you should go through that first and then only you can understand what I'm going to explain in this. So here I'm going to explain how to take array of objects. For that let's say I have this class. The class name is complex where we have real and imaginary as data members. We have constructors and we have function to input the values and show the complex number and function to add two complex numbers and to check whether the two complex numbers are equal or not. So I have these. Now I need to make a program where I need to have five elements in the array of complex numbers. So I start with the Java main class here. So when I go to next, I give, uh, let's say I want to find sum of complex numbers. So I give the class name as sum complex. And what I do over here is I have to take an array of five objects or I want to ask the user like how many objects user wants and accordingly I can choose that. So if I want to choose that I can just write here import java.util in case you want to ask the user or if you want to take five that's up to you. So first I'll show you directly five objects. How do we take that? How do we make one object? We write complex. Then we write a is equal to new complex and then we give the round bracket but I'm not creating one object what I want to do is I want to create an array so I want to create an array so for that as we create normal arrays we're going to write like that we write the data type name of the array empty square brackets with it to just denote that whatever we are declaring is an array the square brackets you can put here or you could put it over here with complex as well then we write is equal to new complex 5. So this 5 in square bracket says that I need an array of 5 complex numbers. As per that, as per the theory of arrays, complex 0 should be my first complex number, complex 1 should be my second complex number and so on. So as per that, I take one variable for the index, let it be i, and I take a loop which goes from 0 to less than 5, that is it will work for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and what I've done inside this is I call input. So I call input from here, okay. After input I want to show entered complex numbers are. So entered complex numbers are and for that I just take this and I write ai dot show to show the complex numbers. That's it. That's my code. But I've declared an array of five complex numbers. I have taken a loop to enter the values and then I've taken another loop to show the values. So enter details, whatever message you want to show. So it looks simple. I think it's fine, but let's see what happens if I run this code. This is how we work with normal integer, float or string arrays, they work. But what happens if you take an array of objects like this? Now when we take this, the code would start, it will ask me enter the details and the program terminates without taking any details, giving a message which says null pointer exception. Now null pointer exception is a runtime error which occurs if you are trying to use an object to call a method but that object does not have any address means uh, as you know the object name is just a reference variable like if I write complex a so it declares a reference variable but when I write new complex memory is allocated for the complex number and that gets stored in a but over here we didn't create any object like that the object is not created here an array of objects is created which says that memory is allocated for an array where we get a0, a1, a2, a3, a4 but actually they are not the objects. a0 is supposed to store an address so this has created 
an array of references not the actual object so it's array of references where a0 will store address of first object and then a1 should store for the second and so on so but we have not allocated the memory to objects anywhere we've just created the array the locations are created but no memory is allocated that's why we get this error called null pointer exception so what i need to do here is in this loop i need to write one statement that should be ai is equal to new complex when i write this ai is equal to new complex this will allocate memory for the object at index i for example when i is 0 this line executes and memory is allocated for a0 and when we call a0 dot input the values are entered at that location then i becomes 1 1 less than 5 is true again memory is allocated and the address is stored at a1 and input is done at that location then i becomes 2 memory is allocated for a2 then memory is allocated for a3 and then for a4 so that's how memory has to be allocated for all individual objects because when you write this line this does not create objects this just creates array of references not the object so remember that so always remember when you write like this you are creating an array of references not an array of objects you have to allocate memory for each and every object individually like this so then only you can perform operations on that object either now you either call your import show or whatever methods are defined inside the class but we can call them only once the memory is allocated i hope you understood the concept of using arrays of objects so once the memory is allocated you can use it the same way as we work on any other type of array like here if you don't want it for five you want to have uh, as many complex numbers as user tells so I can take a variable n but for taking input from the user I have to take an object of scanner so I take an object of scanner over here and I ask the user to enter how many numbers are there so when we ask how many numbers are there, I get that value in n. I get that value in n and over here now, instead of writing 5, I have to write n so that the memory is allocated for n complex numbers. Over here also, you make n and over here as well n. So this will work for any number of complex numbers we want. So now if I run this code, and when it asks me how many numbers are there, I enter 4. So it asks me enter details, asks me the real and imaginary part for the first number, real and imaginary part for the second number, real and imaginary part for the third number, and for the fourth number. And then it shows all four complex numbers. If I enter 9, I have to enter 9 complex numbers or whatever number you say. So that's how the code works. And now you can input, print, compare, add, whatever you want to do with your complex numbers. So that's how complex numbers work. So the assignment for you for this code is, I have inputted the array and have printed the array. But you saw there was a function called add in the class, which helps you to find the sum of two complex numbers. Now try doing one thing, try using that function, try using that function and find the sum of complex numbers which are entered by the user so that's your assignment you have to call the function add from class complex in such a way in these loops so that i should have an object of class complex where i get sum of all the complex numbers entered by the user i'll be waiting for your answers in the comment section below just write the loop part in the comment section below and let's see who answers first for this i hope you understood the thing in case there is any doubt, do write in the comment section. I'll get back to you. 
and if you found this video useful do click on the like button share and subscribe thank you